Welcome to my weekly manicure. So it hasn't been a really weekly lately. I apologize, but today I am home. I'm working from home. I'm doing some videos and, uh, re you know, replying to emails. So uh, my nails are driving me nuts. Honestly, they're driving me nuts. They're way too long. So I'm going to show you how I do like a super quick uh, manicure, maintenance manicure, kind of, right? So first of all, I'm going to shorten my nails and don't judge me. This is oil that's spilled on my file. It looks disgusting, but you know what? It's actually clean. I wash it, um, but it just looks really worn out. But you know what? I like this file, so don't judge me too much. Anyway, and you know why I like this the, the larger files too? Because I can rest them. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I can rest them on my on my um, on my hand here. So I also don't have a very good lighting. I mean, I can see what I'm doing. It's just probably, hopefully, it's not very bad when it comes to filming. So what I'm going to do is shorten the nails. Okay, it feels good. So you see, I'm resting this file here. I'm going to give you a link. This is 241.80 grit. So this is the 180. This is 240. Let's see which one I'm using. Both are good. So you know what, as I'm filing, obviously back and forth, which is completely fine. I've been, you know, mentioning that in pretty much all of my videos, but think of it like I'm always staying on the nail. Think about playing violin or something. Uh, this is how we file. So just back and forth, back and forth, just hug the nail. And that way you have a nice um, soft line. Sometimes when people file like this, they have these, these uh, sharp lines. By the way, I'm gonna buy a super cheap and simple lamp and a proper setup. Oops, <laughs> a proper setup, not like this. Uh, so I can film more videos here and I can show you how to create a very easy setup for your manicure. Because you don't need a special light, you just need a, um, like a desk lamp or something, like a direct light. Okay. So now the nails are sometimes a little mm, rough or something, right? Depending on which file you're using. So the solution is buffer block, okay? So it doesn't matter, this is so nice and smooth. So it doesn't matter which file you really are using. What matters is how you finish the nail. So this is just a buffer block. You see, I'm going this way. I'm not going this way. I'm going this way. Now, I'm going to grab the same file and just, you know, there's sometimes pieces of hard skin here on the sides. So, uh, very important thing. It's really, important to understand the difference between dry skin and hard skin. So this is mostly for hard skin, very, very lightly. As you can see, I'm, I'm um, lining the file up with the side wall and just using the side to just kind of clean up this a little bit. I'm not filing extensively. I'm not putting a lot of pressure. It's just to kind of clean up this area 
just so it's smoother. I don't know, I'm a picker and these things can drive me nuts. So if it doesn't drive you nuts, it's not like you have to do it or anything like that. So I know I'm filing kind of weird. This is how I really file my nails. So I kind of help myself this way, moving this finger. But I'm hoping I'm not giving you um, motion sickness here. But I started creating these videos just so you can see how, you know, because I show so many of, uh, you know, in so many of my videos, I show how I work on the clients. And sometimes how I work on the clients is not how I work on myself. And it's not how you should work on yourself either. It's just to show how I work in a salon. So as you can see, when you are maintaining your nails properly, when you care for your nails, there is way less to do. So you don't have to absolutely use electric file. I don't use electric file on myself because I don't need it. I really don't. But it's different when client comes in and they haven't done anything for four weeks to their nails, right? Or the skin around their nails or... And sometimes it's just, you know, easier, easier because, you know, if you're doing your manicure once a week, that's different. But if I'm doing something for eight hours a day, it's just easier on my arm as well to work with electrophile too. And it's very precise, I have to say. I really like working with it, but it's not necessary whatsoever. So I mm, explained a little bit more how I shaped the nails in the previous manicure video. So, you know, I'm just going to, instead of repeating, because I'm almost done with this, I'm just going to um, give you a link at the end of this video or in the description box to the first manicure video where I kind of explain everything a little bit better. And, you know, it's so important, in my opinion, in order to learn something, you have to practice a lot. Same goes for speaking languages and everything else. You have to just practice, 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 or doing sports or dancing or swimming, anything that you want to learn. So when you are doing these manicures once a week, the manicures become very easy, but also you're practicing much more. So, you know, it's very often people are like, oh, can you teach me how to do a manicure? Well, I can show you. I can uh, see how you're doing it. I can maybe correct you, but you have to practice because it's almost like, well, can you teach me how to play piano? Well, well I don't play piano, but if I did, I can show you, but it's not like if you don't practice, you will never become good, right? At it. I like my nails really short. I don't know. Lately, it's the, sh the shorter the better. It's just very, very comfortable. All right, so this little tool, I, I, I talked about this little kit a few times, right? And I always have it with me because uh, it's, I always have it in my purse actually, because it's, um, I have to. If in case I have any snags or anything like that, I'll just pick if, if I, you know, if I can't snip it or something. So it's it's a very, very good kit. It's a very good value. It's good to have. It's really good to have. So this is probably the worst uh, filmed video. But maybe it will be helpful to, you know, one of you. So you can use this side, just gently nudge the skin. You can also use this side. This side also is very good for cleaning underneath the nails, you see? These little edges. No, I actually haven't done this yet. So this hand, I kind of mm, scratch my nail on the block. I don't, I don't know. I can do it both ways, I guess. So now, you can use this too. This is a very good side to clean the nails. I have quite a few people asking me 
about the um, to, how to clean underneath the nails because they have kind of a habit of really uh, digging underneath the skin. This is how I'm holding it. And that can sometimes lead to, you know, breaking of the the the, the um, seal. So you want to be very gentle and use a soft um, tool. So these are the skirts, what we call it. Can you see? It's part of the nail that almost like get, got underneath when you were filing it. Okay, so now back to nudging that skin. So this tool is a little short. I have to say it's a little bit weird to work with it sometimes, but it's a good little tool to have. And like I said, you can actually use this side as well. This is also very, very gentle. See, and this And I want to talk about something. I'm not sure if you can see it. Can you see the skin is like drier here and it's, it's, um, it looks like it's, you know, you could cut it or something. So I picked it, okay? And then I had to snip it. And once you snip it, that skin, that seal is almost, well, that, um, that band of skin is almost broken and it will continue sometimes to peel and if you keep cutting it it will continue to peel so you just you have to know that if that happens you um it's best to just you know use a lot of vaseline a lot of oils and things like that that skin eventually is going to heal so you just kind of it has to you have to go through that that period of that skin being kind of a little angry so now I'm pushing back the living skin. I'm not really worried about the cuticle. In case I feel something, I'll just, you know, nudge it back. And you know what I'm going to do? Because I do my nails on a regular basis and because I just don't have a lot of time right now, so I have a lot of, uh, you know, emails that I have to answer. Um, I'm not gonna do uh, remove the cuticle because I'm not. And sometimes it's okay too in my home. <laughs> I have this and a towel okay you don't have to use any special wipes or anything like that so this is like a 15 minute manicure honestly it's so quick i'm going to use this polish i've been using it lately um because i don't like when my nails are getting yellow from what it is it's nitrocellulose in the nail polish this is nitrocellulose free as well it doesn't last super long it tends to peel a little bit sometimes but that's okay because i don't keep the nail polish forever normally i would do this over my lap Make sure you don't have a lot of blowing air, which I do have. <laughs> and I'm going to now polish a little bit further away from the skin because I know there is a cuticle there. Sometimes a little bit further away, I won't be able to see it. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. You're doing this on the couch it's better to actually do it on the on the uh, table obviously something sturdy to put the nail polish on okay now i'm going to let this hand dry before i polish the other hand and this, someone was mentioning, it takes a little bit longer to dry, which is very possible. It also depends how, how uh, thick you apply it. 
So I'm gonna let it dry so I don't mess it up when I'm polishing the other hand. Okay, this is the most uncomfortable manicure that I've done. So yes, I'm gonna get the proper lighting next time so I can do it on the table. <laughs> and also this is the worst quality video where you can where you have to imagine things that I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, time for oil. So these bottles I absolutely love and these are from The Ordinary and uh, I wouldn't buy them obviously on purpose but I really do like The Ordinary's products and I always use their niacinamide and zinc serum. I have oily skin and I really really like uh, their products. So now normally I don't use so much oil but I don't know after a manicure I really I really do like to give uh, my skin a little bit more oil, so just a little drop. And I like to make sure that I get some oil underneath. And it's amazing, guys let me know if you feel the same way, like how much better you feel even with this simple, simple manicure. You know, just a little bit of shine. The nails are nice and short, very comfortable again. It just makes such a such a big difference in how I feel. Okay. This took me 20 minutes. If I was doing this like without trying to film, it would be a little bit quicker probably. So this is um I had quite a few cl uh, clients, uh, quite a few viewers ask me what kind of oil I am using and I usually mix my own oil so I like to use mostly jojoba so half of this is jojoba and then the other half it really depends like in the summer I like to use a grapeseed oil sweet almond oil sometimes mm, safflower oil they're very very light oils and I have it's really humid here in the summer and I have I don't have a dry skin so this is these are very very light oils that absorb very very quickly if you have a drier skin you want to add oils like avocado for example so um, actually I'm gonna make a, a list in a description box of the oils that you could use but avocado is one of my favorite oils to use for dry skin many people ask about olive oil i've heard such mixed opinions so some people swear by olive oil on their skin but i've actually read that the oil olive oil actually can damage the skin barrier so i don't know not a huge fan of using olive oil in skincare personally i prefer other oils so this is it hope this video was helpful to you a little bit and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.